Ahoy toy! Welcome to Transfix, the channel that is inevitable. Tonight we're going to be looking at how to customize the SH Figure Arts Hall of Armor for your Iron Man figures. Now this is a wonderful little accessory that came with my Mark V Iron Man and um, I want to say the Mark IV, maybe the three. It uh, isn't included with all the figures, so you can buy them separately. And I, uh, so I had two. I don't really have the room to display all seven of them, but uh, I thought three might round out the set. And the nice thing is they have LEDs built in. So this these side clear plastic parts light up and there's also an LED inside in the top here. So you get a nice light on the armor suit. But the problem is they run on batteries, three AAA batteries. And I wanted to just plug this in and let it run and not have to worry about recharging my batteries. So what we're going to do is just unfasten this thing. We're going to take it apart. We're going to wire it up to an AC adapter so we can plug it in and just have lights on all the time. So first you've got to undo this, of course. This is just the battery cover. You just need a screwdriver. We're also going to need some wire. Uh, speaker wire will do fine. Any small gauge wire. Something like, uh, you know, something like this is fine. Just need a, a pair of these for each one. I'm going to wire mine in series with the other three so they all run on one plug. For that we're going to need a power supply. Now what kind of power supply you need will depend on how many of these you're going to wire up. We are going to use um, three of these and you just have to calculate the voltage. It is not terribly difficult. I'll help you figure it out. Like I said, this runs on three AAA batteries and they are 1.5 volts each. So you need to just add the voltage. So for one Iron Man Hall of Armor, 1.5 times three would be 4.5 volts. That's what you need for one. So how many halls of armor do you have? Multiply that number by 4.5. That's how many volts your power supply should be. Try to make it close. Uh, a little bit underpowered power supply is going to dim the lights. Not a big deal. A little bit over, you can go maybe a volt or so over. I'm not an electrical expert. Uh, too many volts over what you need will burn out the LED lights, uh, which would be a problem because you probably can't replace those LED lights in something like this. So, like I said, I've got three units of these, so three times 4.5 would be 12. So I'm gonna need about 13 and a half volts for my setup here. And I've got this um, uh, this power supply, which came from a Microsoft Surface, I think. And we see this is 12 volts. Uh, should be good enough. I have tested it with two and it lit up just fine. Uh, so that would have been, you know, over volted. Uh, yeah, so I guess you can go over two volts. So I didn't have any problems with it. So this might be slightly dim. We'll see how it works out. You'll also need a set of wire strippers. I like these ones because they're just universal size. You will need a soldering iron and some solder and some flux. Possibly some small marettes if you prefer not to solder everything. We will have to solder onto the circuit board, but for the actual wire connections, you can use marettes. So all you gotta do is remove all of these screws and then we can expose the guts. All right, we've got all our screws out. We'll put those in a little dish nearby so we don't lose them. And now we can take this apart. This just comes right off. There we go. Okay. So yeah, here's our battery compartment, the switch, which is not gonna be used anymore. What we're gonna do is just take these uh, power leads and wire in some wire. So now what we can do is we're going to remove the switch. We're going to remove the battery compartment. So now what we want to do is we want to just tie it into the battery compartment. So that means what we'll do, cut two pieces of wire and we'll color code these or label them so that we know which is which. We want to solder on one wire onto, we're just going to use the same terminals. That way we could use the batteries later if we want to. We're going to solder a wire onto the positive terminal of the battery and we'll solder another wire onto the negative one. And then what we can do is just run those two leads out through the panel. There's some little holes here we can use from the battery cover. And we'll just run each lead out through that, like that. And it's going to look like this. So here's the ones I've already done. I'll just 
that's just a temporary one here. But you can see I've run the positive and the negative wires out here. And then uh, once they're out, we can just tie them all together once we're done. Okay, so the soldering's done. I just soldered this uh, red lead onto the red terminal and then this black wire onto the black one. So I crossed over to here. So you can see the, uh, the switch is still connected. The battery box is still connected. We're just going to run these wires underneath it. So we'll just let's move this one over here. Just going to put the battery box back where it was. Trying not to uh, intrude on anything that's existing. I think this will work okay. Put that back in there. And then a black one can come around. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll come over this side. This one will have to go through here. Okay. That should be fine. These screws um, are a little longer than the ones that held the back panel on. And the ones that held the switch in place are a little different. They've got a wider uh, head, I suppose. So we'll try to keep these these two separate and those two separate. Just make sure you're not squishing any wires when you reattach this, of course. You don't want to pinch anything. That's there, we'll put our switch back. I guess you don't really have to remove the switch, it just sort of makes it easier to access things. Uh, let's see, which way is up? Hmm, I don't remember. Should have kept track of which way was up. That's okay. We're not going to use it anymore. Guess I need to magnetize my screwdriver again. Okay, now that everything's screwed back in place, we'll just pop these wires through the panel. So again, we're going to use those two holes. So we'll just put a black one. doesn't really matter which one's which. That one's longer, so we'll put that one through here. And this one will go through here. You may want to tape these in place or use longer wires to make your life easier. That should be fine. Ah, uh, I see the problem. Okay, there is a problem. Actually, I do have a problem. Okay, this one is going to be getting in the way. We need to wrap that one uh, underneath the battery box, I think. Let's try that again. Pull that one through. That one through. There we go. That's better. So yeah, you may want to tape these down, but I think it's okay. All right, now we can screw everything back into place. We're not going to need this battery cover anymore, so we'll just throw it away. Well, or put it somewhere safe in storage. And let's just strip our leads here. Give ourselves a bit of a Bare wire to connect. Okay, now we can tie these in together with the other two holes. Okay, so I've got the all finished up for this piece, and uh, I guess we can attach them now. So these these come with little uh, attachment pieces you can use. You have to pull out these little filler bits here, and you use the other kind, which will let it slot into the other halls of armor. So one on the top, one on the bottom. Okay, so I might as well put those together and um, I'm gonna try and attach these. It looks like I've, I've best to wire these ones backwards because I've labeled this black one plus and the other one minus. Uh, I did these months ago uh, before I got this one in, so I don't remember, but I guess I left myself a little 
little clue there that I'd goofed. So what I'll do is just basically wire these together. Um, I've got some hookup wire here, red and black. So I'll swap it for that one and do it correctly on these. I just pull off some extra lengths, link them here, and uh, I'll see if I can solder that together. Okay, so I put those hookup wires onto those leads, and um, these hookup wires are good. Uh, I, the ones coming out of here, I, I, they're very delicate. I wish I'd used something else. I took these off of some battery leads, and uh, I, this wire is actually stronger, but that's okay. We'll try to make it work. So now we just have to join up all the same colors, basically. So and now I'm not an expert at wiring. I just learned it in high school in electricity class. And um, so this isn't really going to teach you how to do everything you need to know. It, it, hopefully you know how to solder if you're going to try this. If not, there's probably good YouTube video tutorials online. But um, basically you just you want to twist these together. And... Um, uh, let's see here, this one, that's tough because I've got one soft wire and two that are more firm, but maybe I can twist these with the pliers. It's easy to wrap this one around the other wire. And I should get some tape to uh, cover up those connections I made. So I'll twist this one around as well. And that's going to hurt my hands. Oh. So I should be using pliers, but I took them upstairs. So let's just do that. Okay, so there's the red one. All three of those are connected. And then we'll take the lead from our power supply and connect that. So basically, anyway, just the quick and dirty way to teach you is you just twist, you always twist your leads. If it's braided wire like this. And uh, so that should be fine. Now we're just going to, you don't have a lot to work with there. So let's see if I can twist this around. I'm sure if you know what you're doing, you think this is terrible technique. Yep, it's all falling apart. Let's see if I can salvage this mess. Now, um, I've got my uh, acid flux paste here, and I just dipped the uh, the solder right into it. I don't know if that's correct or not. So I'll try to hold this stuff together. And what do you want to do? <laughs> Again, I've never soldered on camera before. Let's try. So we're supposed to heat the wires and touch the solder. If the wires are hot enough, it will melt the solder onto it and give you a nice a nice connection there we go you should do this in a ventilated area and not inhale these fumes like I do That's okay. No pain, no gain, right? All right. I think that is... Let's see if that's going to hold. I'll get some on the bottom. It's a bit of a mess, if I'm honest. So I've got the red solder together, and uh, now I'll do the black. And we just want to twist these together. Bit of a nest, bit of a rat's nest there, that's okay. It's going to work. When in doubt, use more solder, that's what I say. Good enough. Alright, that's all connected now, so I'm going to get some uh, electrical tape just to tape this off. We don't want the red and black touching especially because that's going to cause a short. So I'll tape this off and then we'll test it out. Okay, that doesn't look very pretty on the back. I know that that's, that's not um, as elegant as I was planning it to be, but uh, you know, part of that I blame just trying to do it on camera. But that's okay. It's as long as the connections work. So let's plug it in and do the honors, and we'll see if this thing's gonna blow up in my face. Okay, tell my family I love them. 
can switch solder right now. Let's uh, let's try it out. I'll plug it in. Hmm. Well, one of them works. I had two working before. Ah. Ah, oh, okay, the switches still do something. I wired some of them backwards, but the switches still seem to actually operate They're on and off. Okay, so that's good to know. And I did forget there's a bit of a, a light in the back uh, crevices here, too. There's When I opened it up, I saw some little diffusion plates in there. Anyways, so that's that's working. That's good. Back up the camera a bit here so you can see. Yeah, great. So there is our Hall of Armor. It didn't explode. Lights look pretty good. Let me turn off the other light here. There we go. Success. Well, all it needs now is some iron men. So let's put some guys in here. Put our Mark One in there. And who else do I have handy? Is it a Mark Seven. I've got the two, three, four, the five in the Revoltic. Here's a Marvel Legends. Uh, it doesn't really belong, but that's okay. It's a nice comic book homage in there well that's the light up iron man hall of armor i hope that helped somebody out and you had a good time watching this <laughs> and uh hey nobody got hurt so that's a good thing thanks for watching good night